So I said when I built this PC for Kia Pia regarding the old Artesian builds fiasco, um, that we had a video about how to pack a computer and ship it safely. And this is something that is very common, a common question I get from people that are either going off to college or they're moving or traveling for work and they are over a long extended stay and they want to bring their tower. And they're like, hey, what's the best way to pack it to make sure it arrives there safely? So today we'll do a new video about that. And I'll be honest, because I titled it some clickbaity thing that I can't remember, so I can't even find it myself. So we'll do it again. Lee and Lee's all new O11 Dynamic Evo builds upon its legendary design by bringing even more modularity and customization to meet your build needs. The dual chamber design offers extremely clean cable management, while support for up to three 360 millimeter radiators and 10 fans offers superior cooling for the latest power hungry components. To see the full list of features and capabilities of the new Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic Evo, follow the link in the description below. This is a, this is a, Technically a full tower, actually more of a mid tower. Single tempered glass side panel. So this is the thing I'm most concerned about. But, well, at least about breakage in here. Um, Cause if this shatters, it'll make a, a mess. The other thing obviously is gonna be the graphics card. Very concerned about the graphics card. I don't want anything happening to that. Because I worked for FedEx. I was a FedEx driver. And although I handled with care, most of the time, let's be honest, I'm human. Uh, We've had some PCs arrive here even recently damaged um, where the drive cage was just completely bent to hell or the motherboard tray was completely bent. Graphics card itself was bent because of the impact of just, you know, the careful hands of those in purple and, and orange or brown or hey, yellow and red, but I digress. It's up to us as the packer to try and pack for that situation. So first things first, I'm gonna lay it on its back, but I'm gonna find something to put down here so I don't scratch it up. So give me a sec. So I'm just gonna lay this down on this piece of foam right here. I also did my best to wipe off as many of my fingerprints as I could, but this system is ready to go. And the reason, why, ah, fingers. The reason why I'm doing this is I mentioned Instapack. Instapack is what you need to keep everything as safe as possible keep the side panel where you can get to it quickly because as soon as we put down the Instapack, we have only a certain amount of time before it expands. We don't want it to expand beyond like the side panel. We want it to push against the side panel, filling in these voids. So the graphics card mounts here and on the socket. We don't want the socket taking any of the brunt. The safest, and, like, the absolute safest way to ship this would be taking out the graphics card putting it in a box, shipping it with the other parts. I don't want her to have to install it or anything. It all works. I don't want anything to have to be unplugged or whatever. You know, I got my fingers crossed. It's gonna arrive in one piece, but if something happens to it, by God, we will take care of it. The other void I wanna fill is over here. So fortunately, these are fairly, these are very flexible tubes. I'm not too concerned about any of the AIO, AIO tubes being a problem here, um, but I wanna fill this void which if I do it right, if the instant pack comes over here, it'll go down in there as well and expand. And then I want another pack over here. Instant pack you can get on Amazon. Um, they come in different sizes. I forget which size this one is. Um, I think it's 15 by 18, which should fit most of this right here. Wash hands thoroughly after handling, wear eye protection, face protection. So I just happen to have all this PPF on hand. Paint protection face, protective, personal protective face, whatever. Okay, I instantly regret this decision because of the way it's fogging up. So, all right, jokes aside, y'all, Jay and his props, yeah, I know. No, because that's what's fogging up. All right. No, not those ones. Oh. Well, I don't think I need. I say this now, but most of the situations Fine. go 90%. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So, okay, this is this side down, okay. Oh, cool. So I should be able to use this. This is the side it will, the size it will basically unfold to, right? Um, you see how I go pop and then pat and then sh and, and then the thing and down. So it's pretty easy. No, seriously, I, this chemical reaction that happens here and then this will just, it'll start inflating very quickly. Um, so this is the size at which it will be, which is perfect because I would like to smush it down in there and down in there like that, which is exactly what I wanted. It goes to the end of the card, and if I need another one, I can push it down in there. So the reason why I have the side panel right here is so that I can be ready to put it on. 
because once it starts expanding, it happens very quickly. And I can leave the side panel on, uh, and then once it's done expanding and it hardens, then I could take it off again, just leave it, and then I could fill in over here if I need to. So, step one, watch video. Don't need to do that. Step two, unfold completely. Step three, press A. Push down firmly with your palm on A until it pops. Pat 10 to 20 times, like that, and you will hear another pop. Never squeeze the bag. Pack immediately, and then quickly nestle. Any bets on whether or not I'm gonna screw this up the first time? That's why I got a bag of like 12. <laughs> There's not a second pop yet. Oh, it's getting warm. It's getting warm. Oh, it's expanding. Ah! Okay. <laughs> that always scares me when it does that. Wait, I wanna go this way. Okay, okay. Whoa, it goes so fast! Did you see it though? Yeah. It's so fast. Okay. <laughs> so basically the second pop is like a splooge. It just goes into the thing. Like you see it. I, I don't know how else to describe it. So you can see it pushing against the glass right there. Uh, what I've created, if you can't tell, is you can see it expanded down and it filled that void. So I now have protection here. It's also wrapped itself around the graphics card. So it's kind of like cradling the card now. I'm feeling like I may not have had enough expansion on this end, because this is gravity that way, because if the box is upright, if I don't like this, then I'll put one end down. I'll put one end down inside there. It's fine. And I might even unplug the power cables if I have to, that way I can truly fill the void. But it's done expanding now. So I can open that up. And oh. It didn't really do anything right there. It's so hot. Okay, so I'll do another one down in here, sure. So I'm gonna unplug these. I'll just tell her she has to replug those in. That way I can fill this void completely. See how it like filled in here? There's the CPU and stuff. So it does boom, just like that. Now we're gonna do another one down in there and you can see why I bought a multi-pack of this stuff, right? So now we gotta do the pop and splooge again. and it will start expanding. Oh, there it goes. Now it's gonna pop, watch it's gonna splooge. You ready? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I, I really don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> ah, get on there. Okay. I don't know, I, I don't know how else to describe it. I truly don't. It's, it's just, it's splooging, that's all I can say. <laughs> Cause you feel it with your hands, it's all liquidy, it's all and then it goes hard. <laughs> okay. So this second one now, has totally filled that void. So that card cannot move up or down. It's still soft-ish though, that's fine. I kind of feel like doing one more in here, honestly, if I know the truth. The nice thing is it, 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 it expands against soft stuff without pushing against it. It'll just kind of work around. So I'm gonna do a third one now in here. I truly have to just account for any angle this thing could be dropped at. Fortunately, there's no spinning drives in this thing. There's no hard drives. There's no optical drives. Nothing should be damaged, even from a small drop, aside from the graphics card, as long as I can keep it from moving. Come on, do your thing. Splooge. There it goes. There we go. See, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now we have just a solid chunk of Instapack in here to help provide support for this. So now we can take this off. So I use three on this one, which I feel is perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Every inch of this PC inside is protected. So I feel good about that. But that's only half the battle. Obviously we have, we have the other half, which is the box. So what I'm gonna end up having to do here is double box this. And I don't think I have another box big enough right now. So we're gonna have to make a box. 
Uh, I may not have that in today's video because this is where you go and you get yourself a moving box at like um, Lowe's, Home Depot or whatever, and you just air bubble pack the crap out of it. Because what we're trying to create is a suspension system for the, for the PC to have some move, room to move around in there. And then once the PC hits its limit of how far it can move, we're then absorbing any impact inside with the Instapack and that's keeping it from being able to move. So I always double box PCs. A lot of companies will just send them as is. Uh, I don't think that's good enough. So I just thought I'd point that out, but okay. So as you can see, we have some, fortunately this has the squishy foam, which helps because like I said, we need to build that suspension system. So look at this, we have a void right here. See that? So we save all the packing materials from anything we're ever sent for just such a reason. Now you can see, I, I said, I've got this void at the bottom right here that I've got to fill. This is a pretty good size to get in there too. I just am trying to create, again, a little bit more of a suspension system. So Nick, if you film down here, you can see I'm sort of just layering it up right there. But I, what I don't want to do is make it so dense that it removes any of the absorption properties of this. So let's take this. And cool. Now, check this out. We've got some voids right here, right? Tempered glass, I need to protect that. But this void right here is perfect to put some Instapack in because it's hard. I don't want to put Instapack on this side and have it create something hard that if it hits the side, it transfers all that impact to the glass for obvious reasons. So I'm going to Instapack down inside right here. And one is probably not going to be enough to fill that area, but that's fine. We can then shove, let me show the box behind you, Nick. We have lots of air, air pack that we can shove in there to fill in all the voids. And then remember, I'm going to be double boxing this in a bigger box, which I don't have here to show you, but I'll essentially be getting foam pieces to line the box, put this in, tape that box up. Then this, this box is sitting suspended inside that box and this PC is sitting suspended inside this box. Yeah, see it goes, see what I mean? <laughs> oh shoot, okay, that's, that really got down in there fast, okay. Come on, come on baby. Ooh, that's hot, touch it, feel that. Feel how hot that gets, that chemical reaction. Yeah. It's really hot. There we go, it's still expanding. Ooh, it's really getting stuck in there now. Perfect. It's so hot, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna take this. It just, chemical reactions like, just trip me out. I don't know why, they just do. Now, what I don't wanna do is create a bulge. If I create a bulge, and that means anything that hits that is gonna be transferred to the case. I'm just trying to fill the gap. That way I have some sort of a cushion should anything make it in there? There, good enough. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, we have extra cardboard. I'm going to shove tons of layers of cardboard down in here, because that will create a big, squishy absorption panel so nothing makes it to the glass. If I leave this hollow, I guarantee during shipping, something's gonna puncture into there and potentially break the glass. So I've got these things. This was actually the stuff we were, the, the stuff that the box, or the box they gave us at EVGA that all the stuff came in for Kiapia. So, look at that. Oh, would you just look at that? And then what I can do is I can take this foam. It's like it was kismet. Look at that. Boom. Then you tape it up and then you rebox it. So I have to get that other box. Oh my God, it is so much heavier. It's so warm right here because of that. I feel at this point it would actually survive the trip this way, but I, I'm not taking that chance. I'm truly not. I, could you imagine? Chase just said computer for Kia Pia arrived smashed. I, I mean, I'm not gonna insure it. Do you know why I'm not gonna insure it? Let me tell you why I'm not gonna insure it. FedEx and UPS have if you insure it for X amount of dollars, which is face, it's like a, like a $5,000 computer. 
they're gonna require that they box it. I know how they package things. And it can be anywhere as good as me. So unless they open and inspect the packaging and then rebox it themselves, they won't let you insure it. And I'm not letting them package it. So that's where today's video is gonna end. Kind of a short one, but I think important for people who are dealing with moving and traveling. And there's kind of a gap right there. Huh? Just, you know If you are the kind of person that's like, my computer is my baby and I gotta protect it, then you can use these techniques to make sure it gets to where you're going so that the gentle, loving hands of UPS, FedEx, and DHL don't, you know, make other plans for you. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this has uh, helped you out. Instapack, it is a lifesaver. You can get it on Amazon. I'll link it below the exact kit that we got. I think it was like 45 bucks for the amount. How many do you think we got, Nick? Like eight? 10 or 12 maybe. 10 or 12 for 45 bucks. Less than $4 a piece to protect your very expensive component here. There you go. We're gonna take this up. We're gonna box it again. And then we're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for all the support on this, all the amazing things you guys were saying. Our community is quite honestly the best and I'm proud of every single one of you. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, it was a dad moment, just bask in it.